Kathy, I'm doing a story on actors' first impressions of movie making. Now, when you were a teenager, you made a movie called Alien from L.A. Now, how was your introduction to filmmaking? Well, it was completely uh, different from what I expected. I didn't know any of the technical aspects of it, and that was all new and different and strange to me. But um, it was a good experience. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Um, it was a, a low-budget film, but um, most low-budget films can be kind of exploitive, and this one was, and it was a nice children's science fiction film, so it was a good experience for me. I worked with a woman, or used to work with a woman, who used to be a Playboy uh, playmate, and she did a lot of traveling. She's a very beautiful woman like yourself, but she traveled all the time. Now, I asked her when she traveled, did she always have to be dressed up, and her answer surprised me. Now, when you travel, are you all made up, or is it sweatpants, just t-shirt, relax? Um, yeah, actually, you get really spoiled being a model because you don't have to dress yourself, you don't have to do your hair or makeup. And the first time I really had to um, get myself dressed, it was kind of a disaster. I didn't know what to do. I was really lost. And um, that was um, when I did the cover for Sports Illustrated. I had to do a lot of personal appearances where you wear your own clothes. And uh, it, it was tough. Now, I imagine when, when like a, a Sports Illustrated comes out, you know, a lot, a lot of men see it and wow, she's just gorgeous. And maybe some go to an extreme, write letters. Some might send airline tickets, say, come visit me. What has been the most extreme case of someone wanting to meet you that you've come across? Uh, <laughs> um, for the most part, the letters that I get are, are very nice. Um, you know, just complimentary, nice stuff. Once in a while, you, you get some psycho who uh, tries to, to meet you and stuff, and, and that's a drag. I guess it's part of the business you have to deal with. But um, mostly it's, it's a lot of weird requests. I've got requests to uh, come to someone's birthday party and jump out of a cake and strange things like that. <laughs> now, um, after the SI things, you must have been offered a lot of roles immediately. Now, imagine you must have sat down with your people and wanted to map out what you wanted to do as an actress. What kind of things do you, what kind of roles did you turn down and what kind of plans did you make at the time? Um, well, at the time, I mean, I had no idea what an impact it would have and um, that was a, a point in my career anyway where I was starting to concentrate more on acting and less on modeling and I was studying with a coach and my modeling agent was just getting bombarded with, with calls and um, she um, hooked me up with some managers just to help guide my career and weed things out because a lot of the things I was being offered were things that I didn't want to do. A lot of uh, exploitive parts that they just, you know, offer to models. So, uh, but one of the good things about coming from a modeling background is that it's lucrative enough where I've been able to save my money so I don't have to do these awful parts. <laughs> yeah. I was talking to some of the other actors and they were saying that once they strap on the, uh, the jerseys and the pads and everything, there was a bit of macho posturing. Now, you were one of the few females in the film. When you were sitting there on the sidelines with your outfit on, did you kind of look around and see these guys trying to do the macho thing? And, you know, they, boy, these guys are really stupid. <laughs> well, they, they do. It's like as soon as you put it on, they, I was getting headbutted all the time and hit, and they just come up and and hit you when you have that stuff on. I guess it's just part of football. Now, what has been the hardest thing doing the transition from modeling to acting? Because imagine there are a lot of people who, who prejudge you and they say, oh, she's beautiful, she's a model, you know, she can't act. Like, how, do you, how do you deal with that? Well, it's, it's sort of to be expected. I mean, you have to understand it's not always a fair business, but that can work in your favor as well as against you. I think um, it actually, coming from a modeling background, actually opens more doors than it closes, whereas it at least gets my foot in the door a lot of times. Um, maybe I have to prove myself a little bit harder than somebody else, but that's okay. <laughs>